Hey, how's it going, everybody? How's it going? Uh, I got a lot of things. I just got off work. I got some shit to do this morning. But uh, I just want to stop by. I had to stop by before I get this, get my day rolling. I want to just touch on a few things, man. Shout out to my su subscribers. And, uh, you know, the FanDuel group couldn't be more... Uh, happy with the things they they doing over there, you know, from from fantasy to the sports books, they cashing. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, link link will be in the description. Uh, you know, we got a six game slate today. Uh, it's pretty pretty straightforward. We had a rough situation with COVID last night. We had a game canceled, so, you know. But I don't want to make this video too long. I'm just going to breeze right through it. Uh, it's not going to be my typical video that I've been bring, uh, bringing to you all. And if, you've been, if you're in a group, uh, you know, I post what I can, like my daily videos. Threw up some prop bets the, uh, last night. And if you're on Twitter, I, th I, I tweet them out as well. So uh, when I have chance, when I have uh, when I have a chance to, you know, it's so many so many hours in the day, you know, what I'm saying it's not enough. So uh, you know, you can you can check that out. You know, like I say, follow me on Twitter and all that shit. Um, jumping right into it. Uh, let's see what we got here. Just want to just want to breeze through it, man. Just just because I know you just 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 because you guys, uh, I don't I don't have that time to do a full breakdown. Uh, we got a rematch right here, Toronto and Orlando. So uh, Orlando took this one. I mean, Toronto took the first one or the one the other day. And we got some uh, injury concerns over here with uh, Powell. He's questionable. McCall's questionable. Uh, OG is still out. And uh, that looks like that's all the relevant news on that side. Then we're uh, on on um, on the Magic side. Uh Aaron Gordon is out. He'll be out, I think, for a few weeks, man. So, man, that sucks. That sucks for him. And then all the usual suspects are out, and they, they've been out. So, uh, um, in the absence of Aaron Gordon, uh, you'll probably see some uh, Clarks getting the start. Uh, he's someone they always go to. Uh, they went to him in the playoffs and stuff like that, and he'll play a ton of minutes. You know, so I want to make sure you guys know that. Uh all right, here on DraftKings, uh, you'll get Vucevic's price up. I mean, priced at a very reasonable price of uh, eighty-two hundred. Uh, you'll get him on FanDuel for eighty-eight hundred. Uh, he can spark some upside on that price tag. He's been doing that all year. He's priced favorable on DraftKings. I wouldn't mind to play there. Our double-double candidate, candidate. You know all that good stuff. Uh, um. And you know they're pretty bacon. Bacon had a good game. Shout out to the guys who took bacon, who had, who took bacon, who had bacon, whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> Shout out to you guys who had him yesterday, man. Uh, I know you all want some money. Uh, James Ennis, his his minutes has been creeping up. He's been on the limit, but his minutes is going up. Evan Fournier, he'll see a, a a lot more usage probably in the absence of uh, 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 Aaron Gordon and. Uh, uh, Anthony, he should see a, a usage bump as well. On the um, on the, uh, I don't, I don't imagine uh, King Birch. I don't think his 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 uh, his, I don't think his role gonna change that much because he's the backup center. He plays some four two, I believe. But Clark, when they do play him, he plays a ton of minutes. He does. So uh, there you have that. Um, and then you got on the uh, Toronto side, you got Powell. <clears throat> got it. It's interesting. We got to see what's going on with his uh, injury situation. I would like to play him. I wouldn't mind him at 6,400. He, you know, he's somebody who balls when given an opportunity. Um, I would imagine um, somebody like Terrence Davis it would get the start. Uh, I think he's in play, and then you know, uh, Lowry, the main three over here, Lowry, Van V, and um, uh, Siakam. They, you know, they get the they get the bulk of the minutes, uh, always, you know, early and often. That's what they do. 
And then Chris Bruce share his prices <clears throat> is steady going down. It's a sad. It's a sad situation how they've been, how the, how the coach is just not giving them the minutes. Uh, Aaron Baines, uh, he's in play. He's somebody who has been getting the minutes. I don't mind the play. I don't mind the play. Uh, I, I had him in my lineup last game. I took him out. I regret that. L.A. Clippers in Brooklyn. Uh, this is going to be an easy one because man, this 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 this. This this they got like five of the best players in the world right now on it on between these two teams. It's gonna be crazy as hell. Uh it's gonna be a crazy one, man. Be safe out there when you when you when you, when you, when you pick it from this from this from from this pool right here, man. Uh, man, it's gonna be a wild one. This game gonna be a wild one. Too bad I'll be at work. I ain't gonna be able to catch it. But uh, you know, you got the top dogs right here. These are the only guys. I mean, you can pick your poison right here. You know, you could price match them between sites, whatever. Uh, you know, pick your poison, man. Uh, it is what it is. So, uh, Jeff Green, <clears throat> he's somebody who has been playing pretty well. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's been crushing it for his standards. Uh, his price creeped up to 5400 and, uh, you know, He's still gonna get the minutes for sure. I just don't know, uh, you know, what his production gonna be like. He put a forty-three up last game against the Washington. Of course, they suck, but you know, uh, the, you know, he's been making the most of his minutes, man. Big ups to him, uh, Reggie Jackson. He's he's in play. I probably won't be able to get that to him. And then you know, all the rest of these guys, you know, with this, I can just find other play people uh, from 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 other slates. Uh, interesting price tags on these guys, though, man. Um, get at me in the comments and let me know who you like from this game. That should be interesting. Um, Memphis and Indiana. Uh, Levert's still out. You know, the use outside of the, the usual suspects that's out, everything is the same. Sabonis so is, uh, I like the spot he's in every day. Every day, you know, I like the spot he's in. Uh, his price, he's priced under 8K, so uh, that's a plus. I mean, under 9K, so that's a plus. Uh, we know what he can do. He's 9,100 on FanDuel. We know what he can do. Malcolm Brogdon, uh, he's priced under 8K on DraftKings as well. So, uh, you know, he's somebody who can uh, spark upside on that on on, on, on that 7,900 price tag. He doesn't have to get 40 to hit five times value. So, uh, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Ja Morant, I don't know what I'll be able to get there, but you know he, you know, Ja, he, he can ball out. Uh, he's priced nicely though at seventy five hundred. You know, on Fanduel, he's seventy eight hundred, so he priced similarly. Uh, I don't mind the play. Miles Turner is always somebody that goes on, overlooked. Brandon Clark, he should he should see a lot of minutes this game. Uh, uh, he'll definitely be low owned. I'll tell you that much. And uh, I don't mind him in tournaments. Uh, Dylan Brooks and Kyle Anderson. Those guys are turn tournament options for me. Xavier Tillman has been doing good, man. He almost hit a double double last game. He only played twenty four minutes, so uh, he's in play at fifty one hundred. I just won't be able to get there. I don't know. Uh, and then you know Jeremy Lambs and you know the rest of these guys. Gorgie Jing is an interesting play right here. Uh, he can spark upside all the time, man. You know forty seven hundred. He's he, he might be somebody that might be on my radar after I really, really look at um, go over the slate, and then in sp sports books, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if they add him to the sports book player pool, player pool, because uh, I could definitely uh, <clears throat> jump on, uh, take a look at some of his player props, because uh, I'll be interested in that. He's just, you know, if given the minutes, he's consistent at what he does for sure, and then. Um, Melton, he's been he's been seeing <clears throat> he's been seeing some decent run, you know, uh, especially uh, th uh, three out of the last four games. You know, he played a nice amount of minutes. When given the minutes, anytime he get twenty minutes, except for this game right here, it, it, that's when he was coming back from injury. Anytime he get twenty minutes or better, he can he can return you five times, you know, six seven times on that price tag. So uh, he's somebody uh, that you could probably use in the uh, GPP. And uh, other than that, I probably won't be looking to anybody else. Let's move on over to this barn burner of a game right here. I believe the over-under for this game is probably over 240. Yeah, I think it's over 240. You all know what it is when you uh, 
when you're playing Washington is run and gun, man. It's going to be a lot of fantasy points to be uh, dished around. You know what I'm saying? Great game for same game parlays. Uh, you know, for all my folks out there playing sports books, you know what it is. Uh, these top folk, these top five people, these top six people right here. One, uh, uh, Rui Hachimura, um, Gary Trent Jr., Inez Cantor, uh, uh, Russell Westbrook, Bradley Builder, Damian Lillard, all of them in play. You know what I'm saying? All of them in play. Davis Bertans, he's somebody who can really, <clears throat> he can really stroke that three pointer. Uh, he's gonna get hot one of these days, man. He gonna he gonna light it up. He's really gonna light it up. He's gonna hit about eight threes. You know what I'm saying? So he's one. He's somebody who likes to take and make threes. Up. <clears throat> And then uh, Derrick Jones Jr., he's sporting a Q tag. And, uh, you know, so it's a lot of little cheap options over here that I probably won't be able to, won't, won't get to. Uh, Gary Trent Jr., <clears throat> his peripherals ain't all that. So when he's not hitting that shot, then, uh, you know, like the, the, the floor is like really the floor. You know what I'm saying? He gave you. Played 29, 29 minutes last game, even though in the blowout. But you know, he was he didn't shoot from the field that good. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's something to be wary of. But he, he he should be able to bounce back tonight. Uh, Mello, I probably won't be able to get to him. Uh, they've been they ain't, they ain't been you know they've been playing mm -hmm. him to the side. Uh, Anthony Simons. Uh, Anthony Simons is somebody. <clears throat> I, I just feel like he. <clears throat> He's blowout proof, you know. He, he, he'll come in and get minutes either way it go. A cheaper option at forty three hundred. So there you have that. Uh, and you know, that's about it from that side. Boston and Golden State. Uh, big injury news right here with Marcus Smart. He'll be out. Draymond Green sporting a Q tag. James Wiseman is out. Uh, Peyton Pritchard has been out for a while. Uh, Eric Paschal is is, is uh, questionable. Um, so uh, Kevin Looney, he'll be getting the start. Uh, he'll probably play last last game. He played twenty three minutes, and uh, he might get more. You never know, depending on the injury news. So you so you definitely got to be locked on to that. Uh, but at three K, and he's probably about what thirty nine hundred on Fanduel. Uh, um, what is he on Fanduel? There you go, right there. Yeah, thirty nine hundred on Fanduel. Uh, if you want to plug him, it is what it is. I like to play better on DraftKings because uh, I'm working my way up right now. Uh, Robert Williams, uh, <clears throat> he's somebody who could put up fancy points in a, in a limited time of minutes. Uh, he's only similar to Eversbo on, on, on DraftKings, so you know it's going to be hard to roster him. But you know he can he can he can do that. Eighteen minutes, twenty nine fancy points against the Lakers. Almost a double double. He had ten and seven fantasy points. Uh, I mean, 10, 10 points and uh, seven rebounds. Tristan Thompson just fell off the face of the earth. Uh, Jeff T. Got to keep an eye out on Jeff T. We don't know if he's gonna get the start. You know, we gotta, we got we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get the news. Uh, keep an eye out on him. Uh, Draymond Green. We just gotta wait and see. He <clears throat> at this point, he really ain't been playing like shit. So you know, it is what it is. Uh, Daniel Tice. Daniel Tice is somebody who he's stepping his offensive game up. You know, uh, he's taking more shots. He's taking threes every game. You know, trying to help stretch the floor. Uh, he does play a lot of minutes, uh, especially against uh, bigger teams like. So he played tw thirty-five minutes. He played well against the Lakers too, man. You know, fourteen point seven rebounds at five K on Fanduel. You get him at a. Uh, I think Tice is a power forward on Fanduel, so you might get him for. Uh, uh, 4,500, man. So going up against that Golden State team, man, you know, he could probably, he could definitely return value on both of those price tags. Kelly Oubre Jr., he's just been up and down, up and down, man. I don't know if I'll be able to get to him, but, you know, if I would, he's a tournament option at 5,700. Andrew Wiggins is another guy that, you know, he's been playing a little bit better as of late, but, you know, uh, 6,400. Going up against Boston, it's just a uh, – I could just go other places. Kemba Walker, he got that hard 30-minute cap. So uh, that's something to think about. Jalen Brown, 7800 priced favorably. Uh, he can go crazy any day, you know what I'm saying? 
somebody who takes and makes a lot of shots, man. And uh, he shoots a lot of threes as well. The minutes is already solidified. You might you might see uh, more than 30 minutes if needed. I mean, more than 35 minutes if needed, uh, especially in the absence of Marcus Smart. He'll be out for some weeks. Jason Tatum, uh, the man, you know. <clears throat> He just came back from COVID. He's been back for about three games. He looks to be in rare form. You know, if you like him, plug him, man. And then you got you got Curry. He's, you know, it's either you're going to play him or not. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I like to see his usage go up more. You know what I'm saying? At least 20, 25 shots a game. You know, uh, that's that's what I that's what I like to see from him. And then we got this questionable game right here, Detroit and Utah. We don't know if this game is going to play or not. So it's something we got to keep an eye out on. Uh, we don't know, like I said, we don't know if this game is going to play or not. These last two games here are going to be on the island. They're going to be played at the same time. So uh, hopefully they, the NBA should get that news out for us so they can cancel this game. And the same thing that don't happen, uh, the, the same thing that don't happen last night. So, um, Donovan Mitchell, he's in play every day, especially at a price tag like that. Rudy Gobert, uh, bigs against uh, Detroit is, you know, is a thing. We already know this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he, he's liable to smash right here. Uh, Jeremy Grant, usage is there. Uh, pace down spot for both teams. They don't run, they don't run a fast pace. And then uh, Utah probably has the best defense in the league. So uh, there you have it. Um, and then the Mike Conley's, the line rights, and everybody else. Bogdan Marvanovich has been hot as of late. These last two games, he's really stepped it up. He had 32 and 29 real points. So, uh, you know, the three, you know, he takes and makes the three. So that's my prop better. So I like to bet on threes. There you have it. Uh, but these peripherals, they do, in the last few games, they've been hurting. He he did step up to, step up to the plate against uh, Golden State. You know, he had seven and eight. But, you know, we like to see that, you know, uh, uh a little bit more often. Um, Jordan Clarkson, you know, he's, he's always in the ranking for sixth man of the year. Uh, he comes in, does his job, and get on up out of there. You know, I rarely pick him. It's, it's got to be a condensed slate for me to go there. Um, Wayne Ellerton, he's just a no for me. He's shot, he shot dependent, you know, especially three-point dependent. Six field goal attempts, five three-pointers. He don't hit those, he don't get those. Fantasy points right there. He don't hit them threes. You don't get that because the assists and rebounds and steals, you know, it just it don't rack up. It don't rack up for him. Blake Griffin, Griffin, he's a no for me. Uh, he's been a no for all, all all the way up until this point. And then for the end of the season, towards the end of the season, he'll still be a no. Uh, Mason Plumley is interesting. Uh, if he can stay out of foul trouble and stick around and give you upwards of 24, 25 to 30 minutes, then he can re he can return you five or six times on that on that price tag. You just got to be able to be around. Uh, he's not no high shot, you know, high volume shooter or anything like that, not offensive type of guy, but he can do a little bit in every category, especially, you know, he can throw you four or five assists too if, 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 you, ain't, if you ain't paying attention, but. You know, it's definitely a GPP option. Um, Joe Ingles, you'll get him for cheap, uh, 4800 Josh Jackson, he's somebody who can get hot against anybody. So, uh, you know, he can, you know, he, his offensive game, he can show flashes, of, you know, of uh, of the old Josh Jackson. Um, Derrick Rose, just a no, uh, sadly, man. But um, and then the rest of these guys, I just can't get to him, man. That's a, just a brief uh overlook of what we got going on today uh thank you guys for uh joining um uh, i got i gotta get i gotta get on i gotta get on the run man i got a, a lot of things to do like i said get at me in the comments man, especially about that brooklyn game i want to know who you guys are targeting man with that being said i'm out peace